Good morning guys and welcome back to our channel. So we've been missing for almost a month. Um, we filmed a little bit here and there. Probably nothing to make a whole video but we might do like a catch up of August or something. Um, most of that time we spent with Tyler in hospital. Tyler got like a cold type thing for almost a week. Um, and then one night after dinner he was just hysterical over something and wouldn't stop crying and um, yeah, he wasn't really making any sense but he had no signs of having an asthma attack so I thought just to um, sort of help him soothe his mind to take him to the hospital and put him on like the real machines we have an oxygen meter here which can be a bit etchy anyway so um, so I took him down to um, the hospital and um, he was really starting to get tired. He really struggled to walk across the car park. So I sort of piggybacked him in. Um, yeah. And then we waited for ages because it's a line up in a public hospital. So, um, and then they put the oxygen meter on him and his oxygen was only at 81. And even the nurse was like, whoa, he looks like totally fine. He has no, like, where the belly pulls in or where his throat pulls in. He had absolutely nothing. He was making no sounds, no nothing. Um, so we were rushed down to the recess bay, or not quite the recess bay, but the one next to it. Um, it pretty much is the recess bay for the paediatric group. Um, yeah, so we were put in there. It took, like... So that was like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. I think it was like 8 that we got there. So we took till 3.30 in the morning to get him to be stable um, and sitting at um, sort of the 90% oxygen. Um, it was decided that he would go to the ward because um, he was sort of stable. I was a bit funny about it because usually if he sits in the 80s, he sort of drops back down really badly quite a few times over the next 48 hours. But um, anyway, we went to the normal ward um, and by at like 5.30. Um, by 8.30, his oxygen dropped back down into the mid 80s. Um, so we had to start um, building him up again. Um, then I swapped with Eric because I'd been up all night. Um, so I'd put, Tyler had been going in and out actually, like going to sleep and coming back out, like, yeah, so it was, um, a pretty long night, so I went home thinking he was fine after that, um, he pretty much bounced straight back up, they had like an issue with the oxygen, wasn't quite sitting on his nose and stuff, so if I went home and about lunchtime I get a phone call saying that he was going up to pick you, so that's the paediatric um, intensive care unit for anyone who doesn't know um, because they just could not hold his oxygen any longer it was staying in the 80s um, no matter what they did so off he went he actually went downstairs um, he went to pick you um, and then he spent I think three or four days there um, he never got intubated which was great um, it's always um, scary when they do because um, there's a risk with his type of asthma that they just wouldn't recover so it was um, really scary for a while there um, so yeah I stayed at home and managed the other kids um, and it came out that he had a type of influenza um, not the influenza A or B he had para 3 which isn't too bad for a normal person, but for um, an asthmatic apparently is really bad. So it was a very long week, um, and we thank you for all your messages, um, and we thank um, the hospital who was at, which I don't really want to mention um, where he goes to. So, um, yeah, they were really good. Um, we had the odd person who was a bit funny, but... Um, you get that everywhere um but yeah so it was a very long month uh we decided to also have a week off afterwards to get our house back into order because um i literally lived at the hospital we would pick the kids up from school we would go see them actually it was a few days that we weren't allowed to go see tyler so i would um 
leave the kids here with someone and then um, go down and see him in ICU and come back. I was ordering dinner from Menu Log, which cost us a fortune all week. Um, but yeah, but we got there. Uh, he's doing really good. He's at school today, which is really exciting. It's actually his second day at school. So yeah, we're hoping to get back to normal. I'm going to do, um, hopefully do a vlog every day. So a video every day, not a daily vlog, we've decided. Um, just with our family dynamics, we just don't think daily vlogging would work. Um, the more I sort of did it, the more I disliked it too. Uh, it was really good to have memories of the day, but then there's some days, especially during winter, that we like do nothing. It can be like 10 days in a row that we just sit here and, yeah, and I don't want to be doing stuff that I wouldn't usually do, and I don't want to spend money that I wouldn't usually be spending just to entertain people online. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go back to originally how we started the channel, where we just post random videos of either vlogs or parts of activities that we do, or the kids want to do some challenges, and um, hauls, uh, so grocery hauls I know a lot of you like, and I want to do some more um, meal type ones because I know that we get that one asked quite a bit. Um, and I might even do some cooking ones. I actually brought a table. I replaced the toddler table to a longer one. It actually goes up to like standing level for an adult. So um, I got that so I could film like cutting and um, preparing meals. Um, and film it a lot better because when you're standing in the dark corner, it's really hard to film your cooking videos. So, yeah, so we've got a few things, um, planned. It might be a bit rough for a few while, a while. Um, we do have quite a bit on. Um, always term three and four, I find, like, crazy at school. They have, like, production, which is what we were doing before Tyler went into hospital. We just finished it three nights in a row of their actual production where they perform and it went from like seven o'clock to eleven o'clock um three nights in a row and uh, cooper was absolutely knackered um by the night three and then the two nights before they actually had practice till six o'clock i think it was so they were already exhausted when this happened so so but anyway so it's been a very long month hopefully september isn't as eventful and um we can keep getting videos up we have quite a few including harry's birthday i know a few people are question whether harry did have his birthday and he did have his birthday during august um it was sort of middle of the month um it was while tyler was in hospital um so that video will go up i think I don't think it'll be tomorrow. I think it will be in a few days because I actually have one that I filmed. I have a couple of daily vlogs, one or two daily vlogs, and then it'll be his birthday. So, yeah, and then we have um, a few other vlogs that we've done. So, yeah, so that is our update. Um, let me know if you want to see any videos. I know people have asked me a few questions about asthma. Tyler has a different asthma to a lot of kids. Um, um, even his lung specialist says that he doesn't present as an asthmatic or doesn't... It's not that he doesn't present as an asthmatic because he is an asthmatic, but he, he has a lot of different symptoms and he shouldn't have some things. We, we actually had a bunch of tests done before he left hospital to see if he had other things wrong um <clears throat> and we had a lot of testing done earlier this year if you remember for cystic fibrosis which all came back clear um i'm pretty sure i said that in a vlog when i got the results back but a few people missed it but they were all clear um yeah i can't remember what else i needed to talk about um yeah and i've said um a thousand times i know uh i should do a counter one time it's like my thinking mechanism and yeah my kids tell me all the time that i say it too so yeah so any other videos you would like to see um there we go again so yeah uh 
we have a few things we were looking we have a few things planned over the next six months exciting things so they will come up as well over the next few months i think maybe uh we might keep it till right up until the time that we do it but yeah we have a few things going on and yeah so hopefully you enjoy all the videos from now on and welcome to everyone that came over august i know we had not heaps but we had quite a few while we were gone so welcome to everyone and i hope you enjoy the vlogs from now on and thanks for your patience all right that's it guys because i've rambled for over 10 minutes now most of my camera is telling me um so like subscribe and comment below bye